We're here for our compressor change out on the dry cleaning machine. I was able to get some literature on this guy as well. Um, this thing holds 16 and a half pounds of R134A even though it uses an R22 compressor. Kind of neat stuff. A couple expansion valves up here in this unit. And uh, we'll get the gas recovered. We'll get the compressor changed out and fitted in, and then we'll we'll get into this thing a little bit. Okay, first thing you want to do is lock it out, tag it out. Don't forget the key. All right. Okay, so it says here 16 and a half pounds, 134A. The tear weight on my jug is 14.8 pounds. So if you figure 15 pounds and 16 pounds, it'd be 31, maybe 32, 33 pounds. We're already at 37 and counting. So whoever used to work on it probably had a little bit of an overcharge in it. You can see I still got a ways to go. I don't think there's any more liquid left in there. It's probably mostly all liquid, uh, vapor that's left in there. So that's the first thing I noticed, a bit of an overcharge. Okay, my recovery's finished. 41 pounds and a quarter ounce. You can see my tear weight's 14.8 pounds. I got about 26 pounds in there. And the total charge was supposed to be 16 and a half. So that's nine and a half pounds overcharge if the label is correct. Okay, got the old compressor out of there. And we'll get ready to fit in the new compressor, which I have right here. We got Tim Copeland. Uh, it says Emerson now. Scroll. That's the one that crosses over. Pretty much the same compressor body shape wise and stuff. Okay, I got my compressor fitted in. I just changed out the dryer. I'm gonna nitrogenize it. We'll check it for leaks and then we'll get it on the vacuum pump. Then I'll when it's on the vacuum pump we'll tackle the wiring. This little cart here that folds up. I'll show you guys that a little at the end. But it works good for pulling all your stuff around. Don't lose your soap bubbles. There it goes. Okay, so I went ahead and pressurized with nitrogen. <clears throat> Had it up there close to 300. And I'm uh, just checking my work and stuff. I got my wire connectors on there. I just took some summer plumber solder and a little bit of heat from the plumber's torch. And I got some solder on the connectors. Just get a little solder on there. I got to clean them up. Um, so those are connected on super good. And then uh, we'll get it up there and I'll tidy the it up. connections are made. The ground's hooked up. I'll get our cover back on there, in there. That's going to take two hands. So hold on a sec. Okay, covers on there. Let's see what kind of microns we're down to. It's been on there for a bit. Okay. We can get some gas back in this thing and uh see if it'll be happy also this is a three-phase scroll compressor so it is rotation sensitive so I got a 50 50 chance when it starts um, and we'll see if we got the correct rotation or not normally when they're spinning backwards it'll be noisy and your pressures won't jive and so then you can change any two wires of the three so this is a uh, our compressor setup so say I got it in there and it's spinning backwards, go ahead and kill power, and you can change, interchange any two leads to correct the rotation. So if it was like that, you could switch those two, or you could switch this to the middle and this to the end, and so forth. 
Switch any two leads to change your rotation on the three phase. And that's where we're at with that one. So I started up, I'm in the right rotation, I'm adding gas as it runs. I have to get to 9.6 to finish my charge because I had a partial tank that I got to. I got seven pounds, two ounces out of it, so I need to get to this one tank to 9.6. And it's filling up. I got lucky on my rotation. It was the right rotation the first time around. Okay. I got my 9.6 added to make it a total of 16 and a half pounds. Solenoids energizing all over the map. It does different things. Side glass is clear. And we're actually heating the barrel with the refrigeration unit. And we've got our mark here. So we're actually we're actually like a heat pump. And it cycles, the fans will cycle on as they need to. There's a ton of solenoids in here. Energizer. Okay, we got a cycle going, a clean cycle. And she's modulating and running and doing her thing. What's the evaporator? Evaporator. 84 degrees. Okay, just ran a bunch of checks with the owner. I have no idea, honestly, other than changing the compressor and charging it up. and uses the refrigeration unit to heat the drum. So, uh, <clears throat> just learning more and more about this thing. We ran it through a bunch of wash cycles and it seems to be working fine. Problem it's got it's just mega hot in here. You can see there's no ventilation in this whole place. And it just cooks back here. That's your air conditioner, the back door. You know, a little fan right here to help it out. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, now I'm gonna put my stuff away. Done with that compressor on the dry cleaner. There's a little card I got for 80 bucks on Amazon. It comes down like that. A little lever underneath. And all folds up. Oh, I got one more step of the handle. No, that's it. Lever. Okay, then it just folds up into this flat little piece like this. And you can put it in your anywhere in your truck you need to put it or slide it or you can make it flat. You know, it just goes flat, the wheels tuck up underneath like that. And that's the little cart I was using. Kind of cool.